was in the UK, and, and I got to see some statistics. They'd been compiled from 60 countries about, about happiness, which was the happiest country, the most unhappy country, what made people happy, etc., etc. There was one activity that gave the most happiness to the most people in the most countries, and I'm going to share it with you now. So I'm going to draw a little graph here. Um, so this is VH, very happy. VM, very miserable. And here, zero, one, two, three years. OK, I just want you to yell out. So this is the norm, so that you're, you're living fine, and your bills are paid, and the kids are more or less behaving themselves, and you know, you got to work, and you're fairly healthy. That's the norm. Just yell out. What do you think would make somebody really, really happy? $33 million. OK, that's good. Winning the lottery. That goes like that. Very quickly, you're back. You have just the norm is rearranged, and that's not a dream anymore. A promotion? A promotion? Yeah, that's a good one. Similar, except the norm may be a little higher at the end of it. Great friends. Great friends? Yeah, that's good. It's a bit like that, a bit like dating, you know. <laughs> it depends, depends. It can go up and down. But Belgium, and people in Belgium would be chocolate and beer all the time. Well, it obviously doesn't work, so. Well, all right, let's get sex and alcohol out of here while she. <laughs> right. Those, uh, uh, what? Happy what? Happy people. Happy people. What? Being healthy. Healthy. People. Being helping people. Yeah, yeah. It raises your norm. It's the same as faith. They raise your norm slightly. Go to a child. Well, a ch I was waiting for that one. Yeah, that was a re my favorite. In fact, I don't have a red pen here. This is child having a, your child. No one said getting married. I'm going to give you that one anyway for now. <laughs> this is getting married. Comes to the norm. But here's the kicker. You're, that, it peaks three weeks before you get married. <laughs> oh, well, afterwards, yeah, but it peaks. But there's one activity that gave the most happiness to the most people in the most countries. Vacation. What? On vacation. That, for, for the, over the long term. Long term oh, happiness. Home. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> You know what it is. No, that was up and down. Sure, about 10 minutes. 90 seconds or less. Speak for yourself. Who's that? Who's that cocky guy there? Working with people? No. The answer is gardening. Gardening. Gardening gave the most happiness to the most people in the most countries. In 60 countries surveyed. Who got, anybody here a gardener? Sure. Yeah. You, you know what I mean. You get it. You plant stuff. You watch it grow and you look after it. Yeah, gardening. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not a gardener. My wife is a gardener. Wendy lives to be in the garden. Her passion is gardening. But you know what? I am a gardener. We are all gardeners. It is in us to garden. I garden concepts and ideas. I plant seeds in people's minds. You're all gardeners. If you're in business, you're a gardener. You sow seeds of opportunity or seeds of improvement in people's minds.